I've put together a list of 22 different Zapier automations anyone can use to boost productivity in their agency. These are all automations that we use over here at Fluximate, either in our agency or inside our partner's agencies. There are a ton of different examples here from project management, onboarding, content creation, even different retention automations. All of these are being run multiple times a day with the sole aim of saving time and money, simplifying workflow for staff members and maximizing everyone's profit margins. If you watch until the end, I'll show you a breakdown on 22 different automations you can use today to save hundreds of hours every single week in your agency. And I'll also give you free access to five custom automations based on your specific needs, along with a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually set them up. Sounds too good to be true? Let's get straight into it. Starting things off with a super, super simple automation, we have what I like to call daily motivation this is a fun automation that we use in our agency to keep everyone in the right mindset what it actually is is very simple every single day at 9 a.m this automation triggers it sends a specific prompt over to JGBT asking for a motivational quote from a famous entrepreneur in person and sends it to a specific slack channel which i call daily motivation now this is by no means something that you need it's not really going to help you save time within your agency but it's a great way to get everyone in the right mindset in the morning and it's a super, super simple example of automation that you can get set up and integrate in your daily life. Secondly, we have the transfer of information from book sales calls. Now, this is part of a much larger automation as you can see here, but we're gonna be focusing specifically on this section right here. So whenever a sales call comes in, it creates a database within our CRM with a company name, some information about the company, a specific sales stage, their name, their email, just some important information that we want to store in our CRM so we can track the lead as it goes through. And just to give you an example of what that actually looks like on the back end, this right here is an example of a CRM we built out in a previous video. What this automation automatically does is automatically create a lead card in our CRM for the active lead whenever they book a sales call. There's a ton of advantages of actually setting something like this up. Firstly, you're able to track your leads as they move through the different sales stages. Secondly, it avoids any human error that you may have when typing this information manually within your CRM. So make sure all the data is always accurate. The next automation we're looking at is once again, part of a long or complex automation that we have within our onboarding process. But specifically, I wanna focus on this section right here. Each one of these blocks you're seeing is a specific task that we're creating for our team when getting them ready for onboarding a new customer. What this basically does within our task management system in Notion, it creates a task for a specific team member giving them details of what they actually need to do so for example here we want the team member to prepare for the kickoff call we set the priority to high we create a small description for the task and give them a date on when the kickoff call is actually taking place we also label the task type as onboarding this is just one of the four tasks that one of our team members need to do when a new customer gets brought in so you should basically duplicate this in your task management system automatically creating tasks for specific team members when new customers get onboarded whether that's preparing for a kickoff call, starting to design the creatives, whatever it is that you may do. It's very important to track everything and this automation allows you to do that on autopilot. Next, we have an automation, which I've literally done a whole video on how to you can set up and it's something that we use every single day within our agency. This basically automates the creation of any payment links and creating these subscriptions for your recurring clients. It gets triggered when a client is moved on to closed on your CRM and all it does is create a product, a price and stripe, then create a payment link for that associated product. Bear in mind, all of this information comes straight from the CRM, so there's nothing you need to do manually. And the last step of this whole process is sending that payment link over to your customers, once again, completely automatically. The cool thing about this is that it's not just creating a one-time payment link for a specific invoice, it's creating a subscription for your customers, so this is something that's obviously quite useful if you're a marketing agency with a retainer and it'll save you a lot of time creating these payment links for your customers. If you want a much more detailed guide on how to actually set this up, check out this video. I let you go through a complete breakdown on how to build the exact same thing within your account completely for free. This is again something that's super, super useful and it's something that we also use every single time we onboard a new client. Once again, we do have a whole video on this. So if you want to check out a full tutorial on how to set this up, check out this video right here. But what this basically does, whenever there's a specific trigger, this can be anything from payment being accepted or an update in your CRM. It finds a template document for your contract and edits the contract for your client. Here, it will change anything from pricing, company name, the date, specific services, literally anything you would need to change for your contract for your client all automatically. Once again, all this information will come straight from the trigger, which is usually an update on your CRM. Now, Google Docs is not the only way to do this. The only reason we showed this way is because it's free, so anyone can get started with this. But you can also connect this to different apps like DocuSign or Panadocs. This next automation allows us to track the amount of content we're actually posting. 
So within Notion, we have a content management system where we track all of our different YouTube ideas and TikTok ideas, whatever it may be. What this automation basically does, every single time we publish a YouTube video and we move it from current videos to past work, it updates a spreadsheet where we track key KPIs, such as the amount of videos we publish and add up to the number. So for example, if we, so far we released three videos for the month, it changes that three to a four, allowing us to track how much content we're actually pushing out against our other key KPIs which we review every single month. This is a great automation if you kind of want to review your content management system and have something like this set up already because it allows you to review your performance every single month and track your key KPIs all automatically, leaving no room for error. The next automation we have is a client-wide announcement. Now, once again, this is something that we use within our agency. And what it basically allows you to do is create some sort of announcement to all your clients within your Slack channels. Now, previously I'd have to write them each individual message and copy and paste it over, but that was a bit difficult. So I set up this template. What it basically does, whenever I type a message in a specific channel in Slack called client announcements, it will copy that message and paste it to all the different client accounts that we can set up here. This is a great way to communicate with all your clients at the same time. A way we use this in our agency as an automation agency, whenever ChatGPT is down, we set a client-wide message letting everyone know. Or for example, before the holidays, we wished everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy end to the 2023. And that's something we put in this channel message, which automatically got distributed to all of our clients. There are different ways to do this, but if you're using Slack for client communication, this is the way we found to be the quickest and it's super, super easy to actually set up. Now, this is also a very useful automation. This is actually part two of another automation, which automatically sends a feedback link to your clients every single month. But all this form basically does, whenever this feedback form is filled out with all its responses, it firstly analyzes the sentiment of the actual form. So whether the client is happy, average, or not happy. We then send all of the form responses over to ChatGPT, where we come up with a quick summary of the responses and a step-by-step -step plan to actually improve the experience for the customer. We add all that information over to a Google document and send a message within Slack to our customer success manager so they can review the document and implement any of the key things they need to do to improve that customer's experience. We're all about feedback here at Fluximate. So this is a great way to track how different clients are performing and how they're feeling within the program and make sure they're getting the best possible value that we can provide to them. So this is another reporting automation that we use within our own agency. We have a form that anyone can fill out to let us know if they're having any errors. And what this basically does we firstly send the company name over to a specific assistant which knows all the relevant Slack channels for our specific clients. If the Slack channel is found, we send a message to the client letting them know we received the error form and we're working on it. We then send a Slack message to the team to let them know there's been a new alert for automation error and to begin working on it as soon as possible. We then create a 12 hour deadline and create a task within our task management system with a relevant team member so their error can be fixed as soon as possible. Now, if you're gonna copy this, it obviously doesn't have to be complicated as this. You can just simply have it to trigger when a new form comes in, sends a Slack message to your team and creates a task for your team. But once again, this is something that's super, super useful and has helped us really scale up with a ton of different client accounts whilst managing that same service quality using systems exactly like this. This next automation is really valuable and it's something that I recommend to all of our partners to begin doing within their lead generation system. How complicated this gets is once again completely up to you. And I've done a whole video on a specific automation, how to build it out. So please, if you want some more information on this, check it out. What this basically is, is an, is an automated lead magnet. What does it actually mean? So we get the customers to fill out a form asking specific pain points about their business. We then send all that information over to ChatGPT and create some sort of valuable proposition for the client with using a very specific prompt that allow you to show your expertise on autopilot. So for example, here we created a step-by-step -step marketing plan on how this company can grow their business using digital marketing. And then we send that information over to the client or the person you thought about for my email to give them so much value up front. So by the time they hop on a sales call with you, they already know your expertise. This is a very simple example of an automated lead magnet. There's a ton of different things you can do, but I seriously recommend setting something like this up so you can warm up your cold leads completely automatically. This next automation is also something that we use every single day when someone joins our newsletter. Whenever someone fills out our website and joins the newsletter, we add them as a subscriber to the actual newsletter so they can begin receiving any valuable automation tips as soon as possible. We also add them up in a warming sequence so they can learn a bit more about we are and we can give them some free resources to get them started in the automation journey. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. We will drop weekly 
insights on how you can use automation within your agency and we share a ton of free resources before we even release them to the channel now this is a continuation to our onboarding sequence and it's really really useful in helping us prepare for client calls and transitioning from a salesperson to a customer success manager what this basically does we have an onboarding form that clients fill out before we hop on a kickoff call when that happens we create a Google document. What this basically acts as is a template that a customer success manager can go through before and during a kickoff call. So they're completely up to date with what their client specifically needs and how we can help them. This makes the transition process from the sales guy to the customer success manager completely seamless. But most importantly, it makes your customer feel more valued as they feel like they're dealing with someone that already knows everything they need to know about them. The last part is automation is sending Slack messages to both the customer and the relevant customer success manager. So we can firstly thank the customer for completing a kickoff call. And secondly, alert the team to let them know to go over the file before the call. This next automation is something that you need to have within your sales process. Here's another example of CRM. If we open a specific lead car up, we can see we have a follow-up timer. Whenever we create a follow-up reminder, it creates a delay onto a specific time. And then when that day comes around, we create a reminder in our task management system to contact the lead. And just to keep everyone up to date, we send a Slack message letting them know that the lead is being contacted today. I can't tell you how many times this has managed to close me a deal, especially if follow-ups are one to two months later. There's no way you're going to remember that. I'm just write it down on a piece of paper, which is likely to get lost. So we set up this system to make sure every single lead is being followed up on. So if anything changes between our previous sales call and a time of the follow-up, we can have an increased likelihood of bringing them on the team and helping them out. Now this automation is a bit complicated. It does require some sort of custom code, but don't be too scared. It's not as bad as it seems. All this automation basically does once a month, it reviews our main KPI sheet and extracts certain data from it, which we then send over to a Slack channel where I can review it. All we do is set the specific month, send a quick message of the cash collected, the amount of profit we made, any partners we onboarded, and creates a reminder for me to go over the sheet and track any key. KPIs which I need to. I know myself once I set up that KPI sheet I knew I, if I wasn't reminded of it constantly I would never have checked it again. So using something like this is super useful for me as it keeps me in check. So every single month I'm reminded to go over it and check the key KPIs which I need to add any manual information. A super useful automation without this my all the time I spend creating that KPI sheet will literally be useless. And just to give you guys a quick insight this is what it looks like. We track a bunch of different metrics on the main KPI sheet, which are then broken down into smaller stages within their own KPI reports. Next, we have an automation that we use within our content generation game or system, I should say. Whenever a YouTube video is moved on to a specific stage where it's ready to be edited, it takes all the information from that specific lead card that I showed you earlier within our content system, sends that information over to JGPT so it can generate a description and a key bullet point summary of all the lists. And we then update our Notion database to include it there. This allows us to automate our descriptions. And when you're publishing a couple of videos a week, this can save a lot of time. So you don't have to rewatch the video again, write a description and add it back to the content card. This is something I personally hate doing. It felt like such a massive waste of time. So I set up this automation to take care of that for me. It does help as well that we do include all of our scripts within these content cards. So we can just send the script over to ChatGPT so as it knows exactly what to write a description about. This next automation is once again something that is extremely useful, especially if you're running an agency with reoccurring payments and you're always ch chasing up clients. Whenever there's a fail payment in Stripe, it sends an email to your client alerting them that a payment has failed and giving them some next steps on how to fix the issue and updates the lead card to a payment fill stage within your CRM so you can keep a track of them as well as sending a message to the whole team on Slack so that you can follow up if necessary. This takes away any awkward conversations that you may have with clients and we give them a bunch of different options within the email to actually sort out their payment issues. The next automation we have comes back to this massive automation we have for all of our currently calls. Whenever a sales call is booked, it initiates a warm-up sequence that we send to the clients before the call. So we firstly send them an email confirming their booking and giving them free access to one of our lead magnets, as well as pointing them in the direction of our YouTube channel so they can get some examples of different automations which may apply to them. We then run this custom code, which I'll share with you now, that calculates how many hours it would be 12 hours before our event. And then 12 hours before our event, we send them an email showing them one of our case studies, as well as sharing another one of our tools to give them an insight to our lead magnets. This is all done using a bit of custom code and a delay feature, but it's a super, super cool thing. And we've seen a massive increase in sales from this because when the client hops on a call, they're already warm. 
They already know what we do and who we are. So closing them is so much easier because our trust is already there. Another system that we have within this automation is canceling any unqualified calls. Now, I, once again, I do have a full video on this, which you can literally copy and paste. But if a specific lead is not qualified, we run this code to automatically cancel the meeting and then send them an email letting them know that unfortunately the booking has been canceled because they're not qualified, but we're pointing them in the right direction. So in the future, when they do become qualified, they can begin working with us. Now, I know a lot of you guys running ads and if you're running ads to a booking page, this can save you a lot of time manually canceling unqualified meetings, but also it helps keep your calendar clean, clean so your qualified leads can actually book in times that suits them. Nearly done, guys. This is once again an automation that all of our clients have as part of their onboarding automation. Whenever we close a client, which is signified by any sort of trigger, in this example, it's updating a CRM. It creates a Google Drive folder for the client, updates the sharing preferences for the client, so the client actually has access to the folder, and then sends an email to give access to that specific folder for the client. We'd recommend including this with your onboarding email with all the information you may have, such as the contract or payment link, but this is an example of the automation broken down into its three simple steps. Number 20 now is a super useful automation that once again decreased the buyer's remorse for any new clients you bring on. And this looks complicated, but in reality it isn't. All it does is after 30 days of a client being closed, it sends them an email with a gift. This can literally be anything, a free course, a free resource, even a book that's helped you get to where you are now. Trust me, this goes a very long way in improving that experience for your clients and ensuring that you guys enjoy that long-term relationship that you have the potential of building out. Alternatively, you can also change this to create a task for yourself to buy them a physical gift, but that's completely up to you. Next, we have this automation right here, which I've also done a complete video on, but what this basically does, whenever a new recording comes in, it creates a database item in a recording database. There, we track all the different calls, such as sales, or even some of our weekly client calls. It's a great place to have everything together. And this automation allows us to keep that up to date completely on autopilot. So once again, whenever a Zoom call comes in, it will set it to a specific path, depending on what type of call it is. And according to a specific path, it'll create a database item within our recording database to store that call in its relevant section. And last but not least, we have this customer service automation. Now, this is not something we use because we don't have a bunch of customer inquiries coming in through Gmail because all of our client communications on Slack. But if you did, this is a great way to respond to any quick emails you may have. Whenever a new email comes in, it creates a 12 minute delay, sends all the information over to ChatGPT, so it can provide a response, and then email it back to the user. Once again, guys, this is not something we use within our agency, but it can be useful if you're having a ton of different email inquiries coming in. And I made a whole video setting this up as well. Crazy stuff, right? Let's take it up a notch. A problem I have doing these videos is that most of these automations are generic stuff. And as a viewer, you don't really get a real insight on what automation specifically can help your agency. This is why we created an interactive automation experience. This is a short form that you'll fill out with all your pain points and in return, you'll get five completely custom automations addressing your specific points within your business and a step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually set them up. If you want free access to this, check out the first link in the description for an agency's guide to automation. It's completely free. Once you get access, check out the second tool within the document for a link to this form. If you don't know, we release all of this content and our resources completely for free with the sole aim of getting you started on your automation journey. So please do make the most of the stuff make available for you guys. Now that you've got some automation ideas, it's time to actually put pen to paper and begin building out some stuff. If you're a complete beginner, check out this video for a complete build out of an automation. This will make your life easier and will help you understand some of the thought process of how to actually build some automations from someone who literally does this for a living. If you have any questions or you want to see any of these automations in more detail, drop a comment below and I'll try my best to get a recorded for you guys. If not, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more value per content exactly like this. That's it for me today. I'll see you in the next one and thank you for watching.